Hey there, it's Gerb Sims, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make your builds even spookier. So there are already a lot of spooky objects in the game, which is great, but what you might not know is how you can use the special effects in the game in order to up your spooky game. So I'm gonna take you through some of my favorite techniques uh, to make your build have that edge that you didn't know it could. Take your builds to the next level with Gerb Sims. So right now I am in the magic realm in Glimmerbrook and the way that you build in this realm is you just have to enable free build in your cheat bar. And once you do that, you're gonna be able to build on any lot, which is great. I think this is a great build. We can renovate some of the rooms to have some fun with these special effects tricks. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna teach you how to do is create a crystal ball. So let's make a fortune telling room in this basement and start with a little bit of renovation. So in order to create the crystal ball, we are going to grab the orbs from the debug of Realm of Magic. These are four familiars, and when you put them on a table, they're perfect as a crystal ball. So let's grab this one, it's kind of cloudy. I like that. I could choose, if I'd like to, to bring it down underneath the table so that I only have that bottom part. Let's do that, make it look a little bit nicer. And in order to cover up that face, I'm going to use a cushion that is actually a little, what do you call it, ottoman? Um, and just raise that up and size it down. Let's add a few more decorations to make this look nice and spooky. All right, and here we have it. Now, there are three different ways that I'm gonna show you how to make the fortune appear above the crystal ball. I'm going to go into the debug of Realm of Magic and I'm gonna grab some potions. Now, you may not know this, but each of these potions has a different animation above it in live mode, so let's check them out. This is a great way to story tell with a specific fortune that's being told simply by placing this above or inside the crystal ball. So let's pick what fortune we're going to tell today. Today we're gonna to find out that Chad has some luck on the horizon. So I'm gonna move this table, I'm gonna place the potion right inside the crystal ball, move this table back, it has some tarot cards on it, and now when I go into live mode, we can see Chad's fortune of luck. The next way to create a fortune is to grab the cauldron from Spooky Stuff. I'm gonna place it on the ground and I'll show you what the animation looks like. So we have these fun ghost animations coming out of it and it's a little bit cartoony for my taste, but if this is what you're looking for, all we're gonna do is grab the cauldron and size it down and raise it up so that the halo is coming from the crystal ball. And now when we enter live mode again, we have this really fun, spooky crystal ball effect. Now let's say you want your fortune telling to be a little bit more universal. We're gonna grab the galaxy light show from the base game, I believe, and put it in live mode, and we're gonna turn on the galaxy. This is the special effect that comes from this object. It's, I'm obsessed with it. So let's go into build mode and do the same thing we just did with the cauldron and the potions. And now in live mode, we see the whole universe in front of us. It's super simple, no custom content, nothing like that, just what's in the game already. This is the dueling area in the magic realm. It's pretty boring, so let's add some details to it and then we're gonna make it a little bit spookier. All right, at the very least, this looks mystical. So I want it to look kind of like honored battlegrounds that have been used for centuries before, and for some reason I'm thinking, let's add some fog. So I'm gonna add a basement right below this level, and then I'm going to go to 
chimneys and I'm gonna place chimneys all along the basement here. Now, since we already have lots of fires lit on the lot, this is going to create smoke through the floor. Uh, you just have to make sure you have some fireplace on the lot. Is he pregnant? Alien baby. It's just much more exciting than the one there was before. Now, the smoke coming out of this, obviously being smoke, is really gray and gross. So I'm gonna show you another option that we can use to fill this area with something a little bit spookier. Oh, hey, what's up, hello. Rather than chimneys, let's grab the grates that go in the bottom of pools. Now these are gonna create steam as well as bubbles, and we're just gonna place them down in the basement here. Now you can see that there is steam rising from the ground and it just gives it a much more magical feel and I just love the way this looks. Now let's say that's not enough of a smoky, foggy vibe for me. There's one more thing that I can do um, and this only works with the tombstones from Spooky Stuff. So I'm going to take two of these. I'm going to turn on the fog and now, I'm going to size down these objects and bury them so that all I see is the fog. Now if I go to play it, you can see this steam coming from the staircase. Let's put a bunch of them. Now let's see the effect that we get here. As you can see, we've completely changed the way that this dueling area looks just by adding some extra flare on the walls and some steam and fog on the floor. And now this is such a beautiful place to kill another sim. Here's a little freebie I actually figured out while I was recording this video. Super simple. So all I need is something that I wanna put some type of vortex in. And for today, we're going to just use the hole in front of Grimm's face from the knitting path. And then I'm gonna use the Will of the Wisp desk and we're gonna size it down. Now I'm gonna turn it and raise it and put it right where I want the vortex to be. And now you can see this vortex face right inside of Grimm. Uh, this is a really cool one. I've never noticed this before, but I'll definitely be using this again. The next trick is really straightforward. I'm just gonna grab the special effects machine from Get Famous. Let's have it rain down sparkles and I'll show you the kind of different energies you can get in the game just by simply adding this special effect. So you could see here, maybe Glinda the Good Witch is working on a very, very nice potion. We have the sparkles. Or maybe we have a more playful witch and there's bubbles coming down. Or maybe here there's been some type of explosion and it's raining ash and fallout. There are so many different effects that I just, I love this object and you have to go into live mode to do it. So I often forget to use it, but it really is nice. The last thing I'm going to do is teach you how to use lava lamps to create entirely new potions. So we're gonna make this look like it's a sale going on and I'm gonna use this object, but it's gonna be easier for me if I use something else to place the items. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and just place a table that has an open bottom on it. And then I'm going to go to debug and I'm going to find the bottles from Vintage Glamour. These are necessary because these are some of the only actual translucent objects in the game. So let's place a few of these. And to make it clear that we're selling potions, let's add some other things around here. Now it's important to test these in live mode because each of them have a different color lava than is assigned to the outside color. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place each of them and size it down. Now when I go into live mode, I can see what the actual color the lava is gonna be. Now all I have to do is grab the object and move up the lava into the bottle where I want it. 
now when I go into live mode, you can see the movement of the lava bubbles. And now you've got a lovely little potion stand. All right, I have just one more for you. So let's talk about how to decorate your windows. So this is a really fun trick for uh, outdoor screenshots, just ways that you can make the build look different from the exterior. And what I want is to grab some big windows that are mostly clear. Now I'm gonna grab portals from Realm of Magic. And you can see that when you place a portal, it has a little animation inside of it, and that's what we're gonna use. So all I have to do is size down the portal and move it into where I want the window to be. And now as you can see, the magical mystical fog is inside of my windows. This is actually still a functioning portal, so this you can also place into a door that is see-through and the door will function as a portal. Now obviously you can cover up the size down object with other objects or you can use tool to size it down very very small so you won't even notice it. So I'll show you how I would do that. And there you have it. This looks so cool from the exterior. It really blends this into Glimmerbrook, which I love. And it kind of dresses up an otherwise dull uh, window. So I thought I'd share that last one with you because it is quite fun. I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to add some spook and magic to your builds using some special effects in the game. I had a blast making this video. I have another one coming to you soon, so stay tuned. If you would like to watch that video, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on those alerts so you can see it and you can comment first, and I'll be very excited about that. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought. Did I show you anything new? Did I miss anything? Uh, please let me know. I'd love to hear. I read all of your comments, so thank you ahead of time. You can find me all over social media by searching Gerb Sims, and I do lots of things like this on Twitch, so head over there. I'd love to have you join us. Happy October, everyone. Happy Halloween. Until next time, live your best life and be your best self. Bye.